everyone. So welcome to day 22 of the 30 day challenge. Oh my gosh, we have eight days left of this challenge. So I want you to dig deep, hold on tight, and let's do this challenge together. So today we are doing all three challenges or you pick the challenge that you want to do. So today we are doing our wall sit, wall sit challenge. We're also doing the Tone It Up Challenge and the Tammy Challenge. So again, you can pick either of those challenges to do, or you can do all three with me. We're going to go ahead and get started. We are doing the Wall Sit Challenge first, and we are on 3 minutes and 40 seconds. I'm going to grab the timer. And I just want to tell you that I want you to do the best you can with all of these different challenges. You don't have to do as many as I do or hold it as long as I hold them. I want you to do the best that you can. If you need to take a break, take a break. If you need to stand up, stand up. You can always jump back in. You can always um, catch up with us. So I want you just to do the best you can in all of these challenges, and that's what works. I want you to think about how far we've come from the beginning. And I am sure that you cannot do as many as you did when we first started, and that is our goal, to always improve ourselves. So let's go ahead, find a wall, let's get into our position. What works for me also may not work for you, so I like to take my legs a little bit further out from the wall to put, um, not to put so much pressure on my knees. So we're going down, we have three minutes and 40 seconds. Starting now, so I want to say, you know, a lot of you will be traveling probably over the holiday, and I want to give you some advice for traveling when it comes to eating. Now, this advice, advice of course, is for if you're in the car. You can't do this in the, if you're taking a plane, but if you're in the car, what I would love for you to do is get a cooler, right? One or two coolers. You have to, of course, have the space with the luggage and anything else you're taking with you, but... Grab a cooler. Put your healthy food in a cooler. Even if you're traveling with kids, right? So in this cooler, you may have carrots and celery and um, nuts and seeds and water and um, things that you make at home. And so you want to play, put those things in the cooler, and then as you're traveling, then those are the things that you eat. And then if you need to stop for a meal, of course, depending on how far you're traveling, if you need to stop for a meal, just make sure you choose the healthiest options. Make sure you're getting your vegetables. Uh, make sure you're getting your protein and it's not fried. Again, you're going to eat Thanksgiving dinner, and if you're having, if you're going to have fried food during Thanksgiving dinner, then don't eat any until that day. Make sure you have a healthy carb. Right? You can have beans. But remember that when you're eating out at a restaurant, you don't have a lot of control over how they cook things. So try not to eat bread. Um, ask for no bread. Maybe you stop someplace, maybe you stop at a fast food restaurant, unfortunately. But you can always do things like don't get the bread, get extra lettuce, um, don't get the fries. Now fast food restaurants have different sides where you can get a salad. So choose some healthier options. So we have a minute 40 seconds left. So choose some healthier options for yourself, okay? So I want to give you that tip. Exercising. Uh-oh. So again, I will be doing the challenge Thursday morning, but maybe you can grab a YouTube video, do a 30-minute walk, right? Do something else in YouTube. You can create something. Maybe you'll do um, some jumping jacks, a few push-ups, and some ab work, and a few squats. There's something right there you can do. So make sure that you are being active before you leave or before you eat. I have to scoot up some. My legs are starting to burn. Make sure your back is against the wall also. Um, and then if you're traveling, make sure that you're choosing healthy options on the road. Now, if you're in the airport, uh, I've been there and healthy options, any option in the airport is expensive, right? So try to eat and fill up before you go. Um, I was in the airport and I actually wanted some water to drink and 
it was so expensive. It was beyond what I could even think of. So I go to McDonald's. I ask for a cup of water. Um, of course, in the airport, that cost a dollar, I think. So, but it was fine. I didn't want to drink a soda. But again, if you stop someplace in the airport, choose a healthier option, a salad, get something without bread, anything along those lines. And we're done. I almost lost count there. Okay, so. Now, let's go ahead and start with our Tone it up exercises. So today, let me make sure I have my mat so you can see me. We are actually doing nine burpees, 16 squats, eight push-ups, and a minute and 30 second plank. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna do our burpees first, of course. I, yesterday I did the regular burpees the whole entire time. Today I'll throw in some alternatives for you to do as well. So again, we're gonna stand here, I'm gonna stand here, and I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna step back. So step back, I should be in a plank, I'm gonna go on my knees, I'm gonna come on my feet, I'm gonna go on my knees, I'm gonna come on my feet, I'm gonna step up, I'm gonna stand up. That's one. <laughs> go down. Step back. I'm going to mountain climb. Be sure you're breathing. Step up. I'm going to stand up. When you stand up, squeeze, okay? Still squeeze and standing up like we're doing a squat. That's two. Go down. Jump back. I'm going to do this. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to step up, stand up. I think that's four. <laughs> Go down, jump back, jump up, jump back, jump up, stand up. That's five. Go down, step back. Go on my knees, push up, stand up. That's six. Go down, jump back, jump up, stand up, lift your legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I think that's seven. I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna jump back on my knees, push up, come on my feet, jump up, jump in the air. That's eight. Last one, I'm doing the full burpee. Go down, jump back, push up, jump up, jump up. That's nine. Great job, everyone. <laughs> 16 squats while we're here. I like to do it with my hands like this. Elbows touch my knees and I sit back. Let's get started. Down, up, one. Now I'm gonna face you. So, if you want to go really, really low, you can take your legs apart. If you want to work more of your inner thighs, turn your feet out. Feet stay on the floor. Let's go. Down. Two. Down. Three. You're still squeezing. Down. Five. Down. Six. Down. Seven, I'm still sitting back, and that's eight. Down, nine, down, ten. See what it looks like from the side? Down, eleven, down, and squeeze. Down, thirteen, fourteen, two more. Make sure you're breathing and squeezing. Last one. That's it. We go low if you want to go low. Now, I'm going to pull my mat away from the wall some. I'm going to grab my timer. Now it's time to do our eight push-ups and our one minute, 30 second plank. Now, 
So we're doing um, eight push-ups. And again, you can start by doing these. This is just to help your, um, to get your triceps strong. Now, if you can do your push-ups, please do them. Don't do this. And don't do the other ones with your arms wide. But today I'll do a few alternatives for you. Arms wide, on my knees, back is not arched. Don't do this, back is up, abs are tight. Pull your abs up and hold them. Let's go, down, breathe out, that's one. I'm gonna bring my arms in, I'm gonna do the same exercise. This time it's more working my triceps. Down, that's two. Take my knees back some, lean in like this, and make sure my arm, my elbow and uh, shoulder and wrist are aligned. Go down, three, abs stay tight on my toes, that's four, arms wide, that's five, legs wide, <laughs> that's six, come back in, I can have my legs wide like this. Come down. That's seven. That's all. You can do the chair. You can do the wall. One more. And breathe out. That's eight. Great job, everyone. Now, time for our plank. Again, for the plank, I like to do it on my hands. You can do it on your knees. We have a minute, 30 seconds. I'm going to start on my knees. For those of you that are starting on your knees, Remember your shoulder, wrist, elbow should be aligned. So let's go ahead and get started. And when you're here, you see my, I want you to look at my form, okay? Look where my head is. Look at my shoulder, elbow, wrist are aligned. Abs are tight. You squeeze your butt is being tight. Okay, it's like I'm almost on a board. I'm breathing. And here, if you need to take a break, remember to take one. I'm not sinking down in my shoulders like this. Look at my back. No, I'm up. Shoulders aren't down, see, like that. They're up. I'm up. Now, again, I'm going to my feet. If you need to take a break, then take a break. You can do this. I'm going to scoop back just a little. You can go on your elbows like this. You can stay with your legs a little bit further apart. Whatever position you're in, make sure you're holding it. Your abs are tight and you're breathing. We have uh, 20 seconds left, so hold on tight. You can always come up. You can do like, do your legs like this, 10 seconds, everyone. Or you can just hold it. Five, four, three, Two, one, that's it. Great job, everyone. Now we're moving on to the Tammy Challenge. While we're here, we're gonna go ahead, lay on the floor for our crunches. Feet flat on the floor, lean back, arms behind your head. Hopefully y'all can see me. Uh, Pretend like there's a uh, tennis ball between your chin and your neck. Rest your head and your arms, looking up to the ceiling. We're gonna um, keep our lower back on the floor. How do you do that? You tilt your hips up to the ceiling, okay? Now we're gonna crunch up. That's one. When you're up, breathe out. Now up, two. Up, breathe out. Up, four. Up, five, up, six, up, seven, breathe out, nine, lower back on the floor, ten. Great job, everyone. Now we're going to do our oblique crunches. And today, we're going to pick our legs up. One leg goes straight, the other one is bent. 
We're going to take our elbow to our knee, and then we're going to switch like this, okay? So let's get started. Go. That's one. Two. Make sure you're breathing out. Four. Breathe. 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 That's six. Seven. Eight. Your shoulder comes off the ground if you can. Nine. And ten. Great job. We're going to turn over now for our push-ups. We're doing 10 push-ups. You pick the push-up to do for yourself. Again, you can use the wall or the chair. I'm going to do these regular push-ups here. Let's get started. Down, up, one. Go as low as you can. Down, up, two. Down, breathe. Down, four. Down, five. Down, six. Let's go. Breathe. Abs tight. Two more. Last one. Great job. Now, when we do an exercise slower, we work the muscle more. Okay? So, it is now time for us to do our 10 jumping jacks and then our 10 squats. So I'm going to start with the alternative jumping jack first. I use those in the middle. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. Ten squats. So I showed you how to do them low already. We're just sitting back. Let's go. Down. My heels don't come off the floor. Stand up. Squeeze. One, down, squeeze and breathe, two, down, three. Do you realize that every exercise we do, we're working our abs? Okay, let's go. Eight, down, squeeze, nine, sit back, ten. All right, everyone, we are finished with today's workout. Have a great day. Remember, find me on social media. You can look me up on Facebook at Shimmy Williams. You can find me on Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter at LBX Fitness. Visit my website at www.leadingbyexample.us, not .com, but .us. And be on the lookout for free giveaways and also for free challenges and things I'm going to be doing in the new year. Bye, everyone.